1962 proof Franklin half dollar. Graded as PR68 deep cameo by PCGS. According to grading service, the 1962 proof Franklin half dollar is one of the more common issues in the series, as it has the largest mintage for proof Franklin half dollar series. Examples up to about PR68 without cameo or deep cameo designation appear to be fairly common. In cameo condition, examples up to about 67 cameo seem to be somewhat common and anything higher is much scarcer. In deep cameo it begins to be scarce in about 66 deep cameo. Examples in PR67-68 deep cameo are much tougher. In PR69 deep cameo they are really tough to find and probably less than a few dozen exist with few or none existing in better condition. This PR68 gem fetched a sum of $1,920. Number 6. 1989 D. Lincoln cent struck on a pre-1983 cent planchet. An elusive mint error with weight of 3.1 grams. Graded as MS65 read by PCGS. This is easily one of the most intriguing mint errors that we have handled in recent memory. The smooth, satiny surfaces retain full pinkish rose luster and the strike is full. A few swirls of very slightly variegated color along the lower right reverse border might explain why PCGS did not assign an even higher numeric grade. In 1982, the United States Mint changed the metallic composition of the small scent from 95% copper, 5% zinc to copper-plated zinc. The core of the latter composition is 99.2% zinc. 8% copper with a plating of pure copper. This seldom encountered penny fetched a sum of $3,525. Number 5. 1963D Roosevelt Dime. Graded in mint state 67 full bands by PCGS. Peripheral toning in sandy orange, olive russet and medium copper iridescence frames more or less brilliant centers for this original and conditionally rare 63D Roosevelt. According to PCGS, the 1963D Roosevelt dime is very common without full bands up to about MS66 grade. In MS67 without full bands it becomes scarce. In MS68 there are very few examples known. With the full bands designation it is very underestimated, as there are very few examples with full bands designations in any grade. And in MS67 full bands it is very scarce. Anything grading higher with full bands is considered rare. This one was sold for $3,795. Number 4. 2002D Sacagawea dollar struck on a quarter planchet. Graded as MS66 by PCGS. This lustrous error coin weighs 5.6 grams. An interesting wrong planchet error created when a standard planchet for quarter got fed between Sacagawea dollar dies, this one produced at the Denver Mint. Visually striking for both the quality and the obviously incorrect composition. Well centered on the slightly smaller quarter blank, with good detail and narrow rims complete around the circumference on each side. Fully brilliant with exceptional cartwheels of luster and only the most trivial handling. It was sold for $5,280. Number 3. 1965 Washington Quarter Struck on a 90% Silver Planchet. Graded as AU53 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, brilliant silver surfaces with a bit of light wear from a short time in circulation prior to it being noticed as something special and saved. Pleasing for the grade with no serious marks. A popular transitional wrong planchet error that is the result of an old standard 90% silver planchet intended for the coinage of 1964 getting into the production cycle for the 1965 coins that were to be struck on the new copper nickel clad blanks. It was sold for $7,050. Number 2. 1962 Franklin half dollar with full bell lines. Graded in mint state 66 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1962 Franklin half dollar is collectible with full bell lines, although such coins are conditionally scarce in MS66 and unknown numerically finer. This lustrous, frosty example displays virtually pristine surfaces and sharp definition. Ivory white luster yields tinges of olive gold toning in the margins. It was sold for $7,500. Number 1. 1910s Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over S. Graded in mint state 67 read by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a pristine example of this rare variety with vibrant olive gold coloration across each side. The fields are blanketed in a dense, matte-like luster, complementing the more satiny texture of the devices. Incredibly sharp throughout and spared from notable blemishes of any sort. 
a highly sought-after variety. The 1910 SFS 502 is an underrated variety that sits in the shadow of more famous varieties like the 1958 and 1969 S. However, advanced Lincoln collectors recognize its true rarity and it is often the jewel in the most specialized collections. It is listed among the top 100 repunched mint mark varieties by both Konica and Wexler. It was sold for $19,200. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to smash thumbs up and subscribe buttons before you watch another video on YouTube. Until the next time. Stay well.